Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The indigenously built aircraft carrier INSV Kranth will be commissioned into Indian Navy on 2nd September 2022 at Kochi by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi. It will be a historical moment for India as it will be commissioning its first indigenously built aircraft carrier. The commissioning of Bikrant will boost Navy's capability to defend its 7,500-kilometer-long coastline with two operational aircraft carriers, INS Vikramadit and indigenously designed and developed Vikrant. However, the Vikrant would require one more year following its commissioning to be fully operational. So far, ship's crucial system and subsystem has been tested during multiple phases of sea trials. However, for ship to be fully combat ready, there are several other components such as radars, weapons, etc. to be integrated, tested and proven. It's a matter of pride for every Indian because building such a large vessel with displacement of more than 40,000 ton is a very complex process. It's a shining example in the nation's quest for Aat Nirvar Bharat and Make in India initiative. The 76% of material and equipment used in Vikrant, like 23,000 ton of steel, 2,500 km of electrical cables and 150 km of specialized pipes have been domestically sourced. The war grade steel has been made in India with the help of Indian Navy, DRDO and SAIL when the efforts for sourcing the steel from Russia has failed. The amount of steel used in the ship is equivalent to four times the steel used in making of the Eiffel Tower. The private defense contractors LNT had built Vikrant's main switchboard, steering, gear, and watertight hatches. Kiloska Group its air conditioning and refrigeration. Best and Crompton its pump, and Nico Engineering supplied the entire cabling length of some 2,500 km which is equal to the distance from Kochi to Delhi. The Tata Advanced System Limited had supplied combat management system to the aircraft carrier. The electronic warfare suite Shakti and ship's data network has been provided by BEL and integrated platform management system by BHEL. Overall, the construction of Vikrant has led to growth in indigenous design and construction capability besides the development of a large number of ancillary industries with employment opportunities for over 2,000 CSL personnel and about 13,000 employees in ancillary industries. Talking about the aircrafts of Vikrant, it can operate 30 aircrafts including MiG-29K fighters and helicopters like Kamov Ka-31 and MH-60R and in future MRCBF fighter like Rafal or F-18 Super Hornet to be procured by Navy. However, MRCBF fighter is just an interim measure and the Indian Navy would be ultimately deploying the indigenous dead BF fighter aircraft on which it is working with ADA. As per Vice Admiral Satish Ghormade, TED-BF will be the final aircraft to be flying from Vikrant. He also clarified that there is no design flaw with the lifts of Vikrant. TED-BF will be ready for production only by 2031 or 32. The aircraft carrier has height of 61.6 meter, length of 262.5 meter and width of 61.6 meter with flight deck area of 12,500 meters square and displacement of 42,800 tons. The warship has max speed of 28 knots, cruising speed of 18 knots and endurance of 75,000 nautical miles without refueling. It hosts crew of 1,600 with 2,300 compartments including separate accommodation for women officers. The warship is powered by four General Electric LM 2500 gas turbine each capable of generating 22 megawatt power. The ship generates enough electricity to power a small town. The warship is protected via indigenously developed Shakti electronic warfare suite. It also has two 32 cell VLS vertical launch system capable of firing 64 Barak 8 or MRSA missiles to protect against aerial threats including 
fighter jets, helicopters, drones and missiles. It also has four Auto Breda 76mm dual purpose cannon and four AK-630 close-in weapon system. The aircraft carrier never sails alone and is leader of a carrier strike group which is a tightly knit flotilla that complements the strengths and capability of each other. As a leader of carrier battle group, the aircraft carrier commands and controls all aerial assets including those of its accompanying warships. Carrier strike group can undertake a wide range of tasks and are game changer in modern day air sea battles and update. power projects. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.